Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our virtual torque tables in our GM Gen 4 applications. We'll find that our Gen 4 ECM is going to be a torque based model. So it's going to be looking at the air mass coming into the engine using these torque coefficients are going to find in our file. It's going to be able to estimate what the actual engine torque is that the engine is making. Now it can use that for our idle control on the throttle follower tables or for the air conditioning control and the AC reduction based on torque as well as, more importantly, the automatic transmission control. We'll find the automatic transmission is going to be shifting and having our shift pressures all based around the actual torque the engine is making. So if we've installed force induction on our Gen 4 application, so a supercharger or a turbocharger, it's going to be completely throwing out our torque calculations that the torque coefficients would be accounting for. So therefore, those tables that reference torque are not going to be right. We actually can have problems with our idle control or more importantly damage our transmission if we don't have our torque calculations proper so we're going to use something called the virtual torque calculator and it's going to allow us to take all of our torque coefficients that we normally couldn't deal with and work with and able to put them into a nice plotting graphical format that we're able to interface with build custom histograms off of and then go in and figure out the delivered engine torque that we can scan in our vcm scanner and then repopulate the tables with the corrected torque amounts so the transmission control is going to work correctly as well as our torque calculations going on in our Gen 4 applications. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check how, how this is going to work and how we're going to be interfacing and using this in our tuning process. All right, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our virtual torque tables and programming in our Gen 4 ECM applications. We're going to find that the Gen 4 ECM is going to be torque based. So things such as our idle control for our torque follower tables are going to be uh, torque based. We have our transmission control for automatic is going to be torque based when we're looking at things such as our shift pressure. We're also going to find that part throttle drivability with our uh, drive-by-wire mapping is going to be referencing torque calculations. We're also going to see some things like our traction control is also going to reference torque. So there's going to be all kinds of things that reference the torque production of our engine. It's going to be very, very important that we do our job and set up our virtual torque table so that the torque that it's going to be referencing is going to be accurate and it's going to be uh, useful when it goes in and tries to reference these tables and torque calculations because if it isn't, we're going to find that we have all kinds of problems, especially with an automatic transmission. We're either going to have shifting problems or we can potentially break the transmission uh, because it's going to be, again, looking at different kinds of shift pressures based on torque, which we're going to be getting into in some upcoming videos. So I want to do this virtual torque video first so you understand getting that set up and getting the torque model back in line. Then when we're moving into those videos, you're going to understand referencing torque and being able to properly program them. So a couple things that I also want to mention when we're looking at a basic bolt-on vehicle, um, so intake header exhaust, we'll find that the airflow model really isn't interrupted greatly and we'll find that therefore the torque model is going to be pretty accurate. Once we install a force induction application or a camshaft, everything is going to be thrown out the window and we're definitely going to have to go back in and, uh, and properly index our torque tables. So luckily, the HP Tuner software here, it has a virtual torque calculator that's going to allow us to index and uh, work with these virtual torque tables that we can go back in and calculate and plop it back into our software here that's going to actually index a whole bunch of tables that we otherwise couldn't really reference and program properly. So actually take a look at those right now so we understand what I'm talking about here. So under engine, we're gonna go from general and we're gonna go here into torque model. Now the torque model, we'll find here under torque coefficients, a huge amount of tables here. So depending on what we're referencing. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.